Hey guys! So today I have a really fun makeup tutorial. I think this is perfect for either a night out or of course the holidays coming up. It's so pretty and I think the green is just going to look great on everyone. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to know how I get this look then please keep watching. So I have already primed my eyes as always. So the first two colors I'm taking are from the Am Wheezy palette and I'm just going to take Caramel and Morocco on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply that just right into my crease and all over my lid. This is going to be my transition color and I'm going to be reaching for both of these colors a lot throughout the tutorial because since I'm going to be working with a dark green, this look is all about blending. After that, I'm going into my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm taking the color Jade. I know that the Amrezy palette also has a green color, but I like this color better. It's more of a gr emerald green and I just like the color better. So I'm just taking this on a flat shader brush. I did spray my brush with Max Fix Plus. You could use eye drops if you don't have any of this, but I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Now I'm only bringing this up to my crease and that's it. I know it looks super harsh, super sloppy, but don't worry. Everything's going to come together in the end because I'm going to be blending everything out as I go through. So whenever you're using dark colors like this, I recommend not bringing them up further past your crease. Just pretty much all over the lid right to the crease. So that's exactly what I'm doing. The brush I'm using is just from Urban Decay and it came with my Naked 3 palette. that I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush with no product on it and I'm just going to again just blend out any harsh lines just to assure that everything looks really nice and precise and clean then I'm sorry my mom did call me but I am just gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna take the black color from the Amrezy palette and I'm just going to put that on the outer part of my eye and that's it on the outer crease I really don't want to take away from the green but I just want to kind of emphasize it a little bit more and make it a little bit more dark and intense then I'm going to remove the tape and it looks really gross when I do this, but then I'm going to of course wipe away any fallout with some baby wipes and then I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner in the shade Carbon Black. I'm going to line my upper lash line, that way there's no gaps or spaces or skin showing in between when I apply my lashes. Then after that, I did go in with the, of course, Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I just did my usual wing. I also wanted to apologize about my eyebrows in this video. They are not the best and I need to get them done, so don't mind them. And I'm going to apply a quick coat of mascara. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Mascara. I forget the name of it, but I'll leave it down below. The lashes I'm using today are the Ardell Glamour Lashes. Now I'm moving on to the face. So I'm using the Hard Candy two primers today. I'm using the Shine Free one and then also the Dark Spot Corrector. After that, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation and I'm applying this all over my face with the Beauty Blender. Love this. Mine is in the shade Soft Beige and such a beautiful foundation and I just feel like it covers up so nicely and it's definitely my obsession currently. So after that, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I did go ahead and do my eyebrows already. Um, I do have an eyebrow tutorial and I will link it down below for you guys. So I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. clarifying powder in the shade light. And then to set my entire face, I'm using a large powder brush from Sigma and I'm using the, this Clinique powder. I forget the name of it, it's super old, but I'll leave it down below for you guys. After that, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes. I am all over the place in this video, so I'm just going to take the color Caramel and Morocco once again on a pencil brush and just really smudge that underneath my lower lashes. So I'm smudging that underneath there and I'm going to line my waterline with the same L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeliner from earlier in the shade Carbon Black. <laughs> Back onto the face, I'm going to be taking the NYC Bronzer in Sunny, which I love. I'm just going to bronze up my face and my temples just to really add some color and dimension to my face. 
for blush, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorites, which is the Milani Fantastico Mauve. I know it's looking a little crazy, but I do go ahead and, of course, blend everything out so it looks seamless. To highlight today, I'm using the Hard Candy 3 Times a Charm highlighter. I'm mixing the three shades because I think it's beautiful together, and I'm just applying that to the high points of my face. For lips today, I decided to go with a darker nude. You could totally use a nude color or even a darker lipstick, whatever floats your boat. But this is what I decided to go for just to kind of spice things up a little bit because I always use nude lipsticks. So I thought it was time for a change. I'm lining my lips with Urban Decay's lip liner in Naked. And then after that, I'm going to also fill them in and then just go over top with a lipstick. This one is CoverGirl's Romance. To top that off, I'm using a MAC lip gloss. This one is in the shade Over Spiced, and it's just a really nice peach nude shade. So that is everything for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me your feedback down below. This was one of my first bold eye looks, so bear with me. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you guys like this video and if you want to see more bold looks in the future. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Mwah!